All right, guys, before we get into today's video, I want to give you guys an update on the 924S Slick Top giveaway. This went in under a day. I posted it on Instagram and it was done in 23 hours. So I cannot thank you guys enough for playing along and participating in the keyring set for the Porsche 924S giveaway. I didn't even have an opportunity to put it into a YouTube episode before it was sold out. All orders have now been made because I made all the keyrings here in the shop. All the keyring orders have been made and shipped out as of yesterday. So we're going to do a YouTube live drawing for the car next week. I wanna give at least one week for all the orders to get to everyone who ordered. That way everyone's got a keyring in their hand. Next Wednesday, September 6th at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm gonna go here on YouTube Live and we're gonna do the drawing all together for who wins the 924S. So stay tuned, make sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna be doing daily updates as we lead up to the drawing. But Wednesday, September 6th at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, join me here on YouTube Live when we do the drawing as to who is gonna win the bagged 924S Slick Top. I'm in Finland driving some of the craziest vehicles I've ever driven. Can't wait to get into today's episode. We're here at the Creme de la Creme shop in Turku, Finland. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I am still in Finland and I just got a chance to drive the creme de la creme four car stacker hauler, this FL6 turbo diesel Volvo. If you guys have seen the last few episodes, you know that we're here in Finland for the Fitted Fest show put on by my friends at creme de la creme. That's where we first saw this rig out in Lati about three and a half hours from here. And on Sunday, the last episode, we drove all the rigs back when we drove Auntie's 964-911. But getting a chance to see this rig rolling down the road was a treat. But getting to drive the truck was the treat of all treats. I mean, the fact that Auntie was willing to let me drive this thing down the road like by myself alone on Finnish roads uh, was really, really cool. It's honestly a dream to drive a rig like this in another country. I'm a big rig guy. You guys know I've got a 52 Chevy cab over back home. But the reason for this episode is this rig, the creme de la creme merch store which is a bagged transit bus back about eight or so years ago i saw a photo of this bus on instagram ever since i started the governor's club and started going to car shows and vending and doing any sort of merchandise at shows i've always wanted to build something like this a bus or some big semi truck rig or box truck some vintage box truck on air with a cool motor in it that was a walk-in store that you could drive to a show. So when we first got here to Finland, I really wanted to dedicate an episode or highlight this bus 
in kind of its own episode. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so you guys have already seen Auntie and Nico in the previous episodes at Fitted Fest over this past weekend. We wanted to do a podcast, but I don't have enough microphones, even though I do have my gear with me. So this hopefully is just as good, if not even better, because you get some video to kind of see the rig while we're talking about it. Creme de la creme. Yeah. Like you two yeah. basically started it. Yeah. You kind of had an idea for something cool for a merch setup, but yeah. tell everyone, because you've already told me, how it all kind of came about. So we, uh, we had our first fitted, fitted fest event, event in uh, 2015. Yeah. That was the first one. We went there with my dad's loaner van and it was filled. It was filled yeah. to the top. Merch and Merch, displays. Uh, and displays, I don't know. Tools. Tools. And after disassembling the place, we were talking that we need to get some, something of our own. Like bigger, more like our style. Right. Yeah. And something that we can basically stuff everything that we need to make it really easy for us to start event. Right. Yeah. On the next Sunday after the event, we, uh, we found a sales ad. For this but th there's no price on this. yeah right it right. must be like fifteen thousand twenty thousand yeah euros. right right and the asking was like it was like six thousand yeah very cheap for very something cheap. like this very yeah, cheap. Yeah, yeah and from the pictures you could see that it's you know it was low yeah black yeah <laughs> like reasonable size like just what we needed yeah and on yeah. the way back we called went to see the bus on the next day we took a bus from turku to hamelinna bought this thing, rode back. But yeah. you gotta talk about when you met the woman, what you asked her. Like your, your most, your most, <laughs> yeah. the most important question, yeah. not, not like, does it yeah. leak oil? Yeah. Does yeah. it have any leaks in the tires? Yeah. Do the wipers work? Yeah, what was the so question you yeah. asked her? So uh, the woman was quite surprised that basically the only question we asked was that, can you drive it when the packs are empty? Yeah, yeah. aired out. Yeah. yeah. Can you drive and, it aired out? Yeah, yeah. and <laughs> actually she did it. While we were, outside. we were outside. And you filmed this. Yeah, yeah. we filmed it. Amazing. Yeah. So, so they're factory air suspension. Yeah. It's not a steel body. It's like aluminum oh, body. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so it doesn't rust. But the thing That's is that cool. uh, it's kind of hard to try to build anything for it because we can weld on a you body. Have we on have that. to, you know, bolt everything. Yeah. This is a walk-in merch store. Yeah. But it's yeah. more than that which is crazy. You've got the deck up top, which we can get to. We can yeah. get to that. We don't have to set anything up because people have seen it at Fitted Fest. Yeah. yeah. But it, you've got a merch counter. I mean, I don't know. Where do you want to start? The outside is quite straightforward. Yeah. yeah. We uh, redid the bumpers. We extended them like 20 centimeters. Oh, and brought them so, down. Yeah, yeah yep. brought them down because we wanted it to look more slammed. Yes. Slammed. Yes. And we did the side skirts. Oh, you did? I didn't know that. Yeah. Yep. Those are new. Yep. The old ones were beat up really badly. Right. And they were much more higher. So we did, did those as well. It's designed to flow traffic through. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously the labeling lets you know. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you enter... Kind of harsh, but we wanted to give it some <laughs> character. Some flair. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you enter one side, you end up to the cash wrap, and then you end up heading right out. So the traffic can kind yeah. of flow, which is yeah. awesome. But you guys also set it up and it's no secret because I've talked about this already. You've got some bunk beds in the back. Yeah. So you can sleep in it when you need to. Yep. Wh wherever, whenever. Mm -hmm. There's a sink underneath the countertop mm -hmm. and there's a sauna in it. Yeah. Sure. Unreal. Because yeah, Finland. <laughs> because Finland. Yeah. Because Finnish. So yeah, just kind of walk us through like what you've done as you, as you kind of walk in. It's really cool. I mean, it's the coolest thing ever. Because it was wide open when you, yeah. when you bought it. Yeah. There was basically nothing. Yep. And uh, it was actually in the first meet, we didn't have the sauna yet. And the problem was that the line didn't stay as a line. It was like a opened up. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So basically after first event, we realized that we need uh, something in the first corner. Yeah. So to kind of funnel people. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And also we had already the plan to add the terrace in top. So, which is which is so sick. The top of the bus is flat, right? It's yeah. flat, and there's windows, right? There's already windows yeah, up top. Those are uh, like a Twingo sunroof. Re Renault like Twingo. The, yeah. Oh, like, did you put the sunroof in? Yeah. yeah. Oh. But okay. they, there was. It had the holes yeah. though. Like, okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. For vents. Had, like yeah. plastic, like busted plastic, you know, covers. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we threw them out, put like electric Twingo roof 
like right. glass roofed. Amazing. Yeah. I mean, uh, so basically putting a platform up top yeah. with railings and a way to get up there yeah. is unreal. That's just the coolest, yeah. coolest idea. Yeah. Uh, stage for the DJ, stage mm. for the artist, yep. and also for us when we do like... Make announcements. Mm. Announcements, exactly. When you walk in, you've obviously got the driver's seat, and the driver's seat, like they said, was kind of in the middle with a removable steering wheel, by the way. Quick release steering wheel, because why not? You've got the jump seat. Was the jump seat here originally? No. no. Okay, so you put the jump seat here. Yeah. So cool. These seats were already here, right? Yeah. Okay. Those were already seen all which, which are great to have because you can just sit. Yeah, and or, or... you can also lift it up. Yep, yeah, to pull it out of the way. Elements. We just yep. reupholstered them to fit little bit better they were kind of like really 90s style you know con yeah, confetti yeah, stuff. yeah would be cool today right well, right yeah we'll talk about this part here but this works because you've got like a french in shelf up yep. there you've got some racks that you can hang merch on you've got some cubby space underneath which obviously you've got a jack in um and obviously you ended up building a porthole mm, yeah. and a ladder yeah. to go up yeah. um and through the roof, I mean, which is just so cool. So when you come in here, yeah, you're kind of facing the back of the store and it, yeah, directs you right towards the cash rail. Yeah. Um, and uh, you've got a TV here. I mean, just, just the angles are so cool. You've got a 45 here with a little shelf and a plant. Here, you guys boxed this in, I'm assuming, because yep. you guys added the lights. Yeah. yeah. So this is all framed in and it, it needs to be said, if you guys see me build a bus on this channel at some point and it looks just like this, this was the plan all along. Like when I yeah. saw this bus, I thought this has to be done. Like yeah, definitely we, want to build yeah. an American version yeah, yeah, yeah. of this thing. It would be yeah. so and, cool. And also we promised that if we ever going to stop, we're going to ship this to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. yeah. exactly. So this is really cool. You've, you've added all of this, um, Added a hanger here so they can hang some clothes, which you guys have already seen in some clips at the show. Obviously, bottle opener, perfect. Yeah, and, um, and the stop, uh, stop button still work. So you can oh, cool. yeah. press yep. that and the light comes up there. Yep. Um, you got a little rack with some like point of sale merchandise, air fresheners, yeah. stickers, yeah. all that sort of stuff. But yeah, so here's the cash wrap TV, yeah. mini split, yeah. heat and AC. Yes. And it works amazingly because it was pretty warm at the show. Uh, and at night it was pretty cool. So we've experienced the AC in this thing and the heat. And yeah. so that is a, a really, really cool uh, added feature. So you guys have obviously like faults walled this, like a yeah. facade uh, yeah. wall. Uh, yeah. This is obviously where you stock merch. I mean, you got a sur yeah. surfboard up here too in between, which is amazing. The lighting in here is great. Yeah. And I love black everything because it helps absorb light. Yeah. And it's not way too bright. Uh, yeah. Um, and like, as you can see, here we have all our shirts for the event, and now we just had an event, and this is how we come back, like with empty show. Yeah, yeah. amazing. Usually. Yeah, the show went very well. People love the bus, like they want to, you know, step in the yeah, bus. Yeah, come in here, spend yeah. Spend a little bit of time here, and also buy something, and then they step out. I think for us, like, it, we wanted to build like a shopping experience yeah. at the same time really make it like look like our thing right mm. and i think yeah. like this is this was such a lucky find yeah well it's but been then, incredible yeah. investment yeah. yeah it has it really has because I mean, that's how i saw creme de la creme yeah. for yeah. the first yeah. time yeah beds in the back yeah yep. two beds yep. behind the merch shelf yeah. And, yeah and that works well because the motor's in the back as yeah. well yeah um so you kind of have some unused space back there yeah um, so basically only thing we needed to change was uh when we built sauna then we changed the TV a bit. I mean, at the show, there was a line a mile long the whole day of the <laughs> yeah. show. And the so, line was too long. Yeah. yeah. Well, like, I mean, but, but that's, in a way. But that's in success, way, yeah. you know? That's yeah. like showing yeah. that it's yeah. working. Yeah. Yeah. And, and for our visitors at the shows, I would like to people to be able to do something else yeah. and stand on a line. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Like, exactly. like a small line is fine yeah. and it's yeah. always a good yeah. look. But yeah. still, you know, now it, now it was like too long of a line. Yeah, yeah very long. Exactly. So in this setup, underneath the counter cash wrap is yeah. a sink. There's a sink and yep. there's also like the place where you can cook. 
Oh, a stove, stove to stove. A stove. Yeah. Wow. And, and we don't have to take it apart. Fridge. But yeah, fridge is right here. Oh, other side. That's, yeah. Yep, so that's the bottom that's of the sink. Uh, fridge. <laughs> fridge in here. Really? In oh, snacks. <laughs> yeah. There's Original one. Stocked. Yep. <laughs> Amazing. And yeah. then, like, a funny feature on this, like, we have had, like, every artist that has stood mm. on top of the bus, we have their signatures. Yep. And we're going to get your signature. Yeah. Oh, for <laughs> sure. Yeah, he did say sure. that. Yeah. And actually, yeah. you need to do it uh, right next to the TCR's artist. Oh, that's okay. the first yeah. one on yeah. the surfboard. Ah, so. okay. Yep. Well, yep. I would be honored to sign yeah. The, yeah. the boss. It would be honored. As far as accommodations go, you've got a stovetop, a sink, a refrigerator. You've got two beds. And then you decided to build a sauna. Yeah. And Nico did like the full planning on this. I was just kind of like looking from the side that, okay, yeah. Here we yeah. Go. Yeah. we're going to get so. a sauna here. There is like a full fiberglass top that collects all the water and we need it to custom made, of course, yeah. like right. all yeah. that. You've got two tanks, so you've got a yeah. fresh water tank and yeah. a gray water yeah. tank. So the thing actually, we wanted it to be shaped as you mentioned earlier, like not in a box way, Right. but here, the you tanks the come all the way up. Yeah. So right, right. there's two tanks. Uh, if I remember correct, they are like 200 liters each. Yeah. So those are under the sauna like uh, seats. Bench, right. yeah. Yeah. Bench. Yeah. yeah. Then we had a little like electric heater. Yep. yep. And, and a sink. Sauna, and a sink. And, yeah. and, 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 and a, a shower. And, and, the, and sink. the shower. Yeah. And a shower. Insane. And actually a toilet as well for yeah. emergencies. But we never used you it. You said you haven't no. used it. Yeah. But yeah. a and toilet have... in there. They've got some stuff in here just from the show. Uh, but I've already integrated a bunch of clips uh, that we got while it was empty at the show. But you can see in the corner here. And the lighting and the window. So they kept, obviously there's windows down the bus. Mm -hmm. And from yeah. here you can actually see outside. So at some point you parked it with a view. In, mm -hmm. in events, it is uh, a changing room. Changing room, yeah. 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 And every time Aina says like, uh, yeah, you can go to a sauna to try out your upper <laughs> and yeah. whole line is like, oh, there's a sauna. Yeah. Insane. Yeah. So, no, yeah. Yeah. no Insane. one believes there's a sauna no, here. No, no. Right, no. of course. Yeah, I didn't. No one believes yeah. I didn't. Yeah. And so what you can see here, you've got the sink, the faucet, the tanks are under here. This is actually the bench that goes all the way down. A thermometer. Yeah. Insane. I mean, I'm just like, so yeah. cool. It could have been easier to do like a wood burning sauna, like yeah. a yeah. small one. Yeah. But then we decided to go with the electric, electric one. Electric, yeah. yeah. Because like when we are at events, we always have like a yeah. power cord coming right, to, the, right. to the bus. Yep. So it's no problem yeah. to put yep. it on. So, yeah, so Finland. Yeah. It is so Finland. Like, <laughs> yeah. we have saunas everywhere. Yep. Mm -hmm. We have, like, in our home, homes, cabins. Some dude, like, made a sauna in an old, like, telephone booth. Wow. Because mm -hmm. it was, like, not in use. So right. <laughs> like, in this space. Little yeah. here. Wow. And he was standing there and throwing. You know, so crazy. Yeah. 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 That's amazing. Yeah. And, like, at events, like, when you, you have been working for the whole day, then you just climb in there. Just put a like, nice temperature yep. on and you're going to sleep like a yep. baby. Insane. It's, it's actually a really good space to sleep in. Yeah, and, and like, like your fiancé, I know, said if you sleep head first in there, yeah. it's a cave. Because yep. you're yeah, behind yeah. this shelf and <laughs> yeah. there's, it's yeah. darkness. Yeah. I'll get a quick look out the top here, even though we've got the uh, even though we've got the railings down. So I'm obviously going up the ladder. Then I can get in. Obviously, these are the railings that go into the stake pockets and you've got four walls all the way around you so it's safe. They've got some flag holsters on all four corners so they can fly the flags. It is so cool. And it's actually quite spacious. It is. Like it's, yeah, yep. surprisingly. So we had the DJ, the DJ booth was up here with a full DJ setup and there was four of us up here, no problem. And then when you guys leave, you come out this way, and you've got the bunk beds. Unreal. Yeah, the bus is kind of like, we have maximized the things we can put on, on one vehicle. We just throw everything in it, and we set it up, put the speakers on. It's the heart of our every event. Yeah. It's Man, well, it's, it's cool. It's the actual coolest merch rig 
out there. I mean, I've seen some really cool merch rigs. There's been a lot of cool stuff, but this one was the one. I mean, I remember when I saw the photo of this thing, I was like, that's it? Like, because I always thought a transit bus would make a really cool walk-in store because they're flat, they're rear-engined, and you guys did it. So cool. Yeah. So, so Thank cool. You. Thank you. It's been a dream to come here and, like, <laughs> to be able to hang out with you guys and, and not just see it in the warehouse, but go to a show and see other people enjoy oh, yeah. it and yeah. see how it works. You know, it actually yeah. works the way you want it to. And that first pop-up event we had here, we tried to sell merch from there and everyone was upset. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Why are you not selling yeah, from the bus? They want to go in the bus. Yeah. 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 And so, one of these days on the channel, we're going to build one in the shop back home. Maybe not in the shop because I don't have a shop large enough to fit this, but yeah. we'll do something. We'll do something crazy. The cab over will be a car hauler, I think. We'll build something crazy one of these days. As you can see, there is like, this is the manufacturer for the whole thing. Yep. Yeah. There's like DAF parts. It's a six it, cylinder. It's a six cylinder, yep. 6.2 liter. Yeah. Yep. And like, really weird transmission. Yeah. Like this is kind of like a hydraulic driven you just pop on from one button to go forwards, yeah. and then just press on the gas and it goes. It's wow. like kind of like automatic without gears. So we have the batteries for the inverter. Yep, there. for power. Yeah, for yep. power and uh, also for the lightning speakers and such. And at the bottom, that's like the heater slash AC, yep. like yeah. outside unit. Yeah, it's quite wow. packed, but yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah. Yeah. luckily it's quite, everything it's fit cool. in. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's quite cool. The, si the system is crazy because it like, it's like a big rack that you can pull out if you need wow. to maintain it. Wow, so yeah. Mm. So the transmission and everything. Like, yeah. yeah. Wow. Like pretty much in one piece. That's incredible. Yeah. So this, this has been some sort of crazy innovation by some danish dude yeah in, yeah in the in the 90s and yeah. that's why it ended up like after building a few hundred buses yeah exactly so. yeah they're like we're done yeah and yeah. our local repairman of like a semi-truck repairman he opened up this first time he was like yeah <laughs> nice one guys you're gonna get in trouble yeah <laughs> yeah well this thing's awesome guys definitely amazing to see it in person and to see it in action at the show can't wait to see what's next for it. The new layout, we'll have to see it next year. Wanted to show you guys how crazy this thing is and how unique and cool it is. And we'll make sure we come back next year. There's not enough time or money in a year, but we're gonna try to come back next year and see the, the bus in its new stages. Uh, there's a surprise waiting. Mm -hmm. These guys have a local shop somewhere. There's another guy that I met at the show that has something he wants to surprise me with, a car that he has that's super rare. I'm excited because they've hyped it up so much. That <laughs> I've got a few ideas what it is, but everyone seems to be super excited to show me this car. We're gonna head there now, and um, yeah, we'll keep the weird, oddball, unique car content rolling in this episode. <laughs> Boy. No pressure. No, <laughs> Just no. Don't like mess it up. <laughs> it's, you're not gonna mess it up. No, it doesn't no. matter. <laughs> <laughs> so freaking cool. Yeah. That is yeah, that's perfect. That's the that best we have. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, come on. Come on. That's awesome. Yeah. Man. That's that's an honor. That's, that's an honor. so cool. <laughs> and same for the hauler, of course. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you have a beautiful so handwriting, cool. man. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is not the easiest to no. write. No, <laughs> no, no. Well, I appreciate that, guys. That's an honor. Yeah. Yeah. Now we have a memory of you yeah. here. All right, guys, well, we are home, back in America. The day got away from us after filming the bus, and we didn't get a chance uh, to go see Klaus's place. Um, the surprise vehicle that they wanted to surprise me with to see if I was gonna be able to guess it. We are here, back home in the shop. And unfortunately, it was just too much going on during the day. Uh, didn't get a chance to finish filming the episode while in Finland. And we just crammed it with a bunch of friends. We went out to auntie's parents' summer place out on a lake off of some island on the west side of Finland. Uh, and it was beautiful, home-cooked meal, and just kind of spent our last day and evening with friends, not worrying about filming. So the rest of the episode didn't go the way I wanted it to, but the last bit of the trip did. Uh, we got a chance to just hang out with everybody and relax and eat some good food and see some incredible sights in Finland. But in case you guys were wondering, Although I didn't get a chance to see it in person, they did tell me what kind of car Klaus had. Klaus has a 1969 Russian Gaz, uh, G-A-Z, and I think it's pronounced Chaika. 
C-H-A-I-K-A. And this was a high-end luxury car that Gaz in the Soviet Union designed in the late 50s through the late 60s to compete with American full-size cars. It almost looks like a 56 Chevy Bel Air. Klaus's is wild. Probably the only bagged one in the world, I would be willing to bet. They only built about 3,000 of these cars, and it's really kind of the only one known to be modified, because who knows how many even made it outside of Russia or outside of the Soviet Union before 1989. It's a really cool car, and Auntie actually designed the wheels for it because it's on full custom wheels. They've bagged it. Would have been an absolute treat to see that car, but I'm hoping to return to Finland for Fitted Fest next year or at some other time and hopefully get a chance to see Klaus's collection. Huge thank you to everyone in Finland for such an incredible experience and trip over there. The entire Creme de la Creme crew, Auntie, Leia, Nico, Aino, everyone who helped us out. Thank you to all of you guys for watching and for all of your support. This concludes the Finland series of episodes. It's been an amazing time. Hope you guys have enjoyed this side series of our trip to Finland. Soon, we're getting going on the auto union. Once the Porsche is out and in one of your guys' hands, we're right back on the auto union. I'm gonna be investing in some tooling for the shop, a couple machines. I'm so excited to add some more machines here in the shop to better serve the auto union project. So stay tuned for that. That's it, guys. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We will see you in the next episode.